What are the advantages, disadvantages and applications of amperometric titration? If in a titration, current is measured as a function of volume of titrant to determine the end point, the titration is known as amperometric titration. The graph of current versus volume of titrant added is plotted and from the graph, end point is calculated. The main advantages of amperometric titrations are the amperometric method is more accurate and sensitive as compared to polarography as the current obtained in the case of amperometric titration is 20 times more than the polarography therefore small concentration or traces of reducible species can be determined accurately several non reducible substances like magnesium phosphate sulfate etc can be determined by titrating them with reducible titrant. For example, magnesium is titrated against the reducible oxime reagent, which gives a diffusion current. Precipitation titration can be carried out using amperometric titration. The apparatus used is simple and easy to set up. Still, the method is also having some disadvantages. They are the major disadvantage of the amperometric method is that sometimes co-precipitation gives inaccurate results. The titration cannot be carried out at potential more negative than minus 2 volt because hydrogen will be evolved. More time is required to remove dissolved oxygen. The main applications of amperometric technique is the method is specially used for precipitation titration. The following are the sum of the example of the precipitation titration which can be accurately performed like lead versus sulfate ions or chromate ions, barium versus chromate ions, magnesium versus 8-hydroxyquinoline ions, nickel versus dimethyl glyoxime, copper versus cupferon. Second, the technique is used for redox titrations. In redox titrations, there are two oxidation reduction systems. Each is having its own oxidized and reduced state. Thus, there are four substances present in the solution, whose polarographic behavior has to be considered. For example, titration of iron plus 3 versus vanadium plus 2 to give ferrous ions iron plus 2 and vanadium plus 3. Reaction is Fe plus 3 combines with vanadium plus 2 producing Fe plus 2 plus vanadium plus 3. It is found that up to equivalence point, the diffusion current is proportional to concentration of ferric ions present in the solution. And after that, more or less, it remains constant. Third, complex formation reactions. The reducible metal ions concentration decreases during the complex formation because the complex ion formed is not reducible. Hence, we get a curve in which diffusion current decreases till the end point, that is, when complexation is complete. Further, addition of the complexing agent has no effect on diffusion current, that is, diffusion current is constant. For example, copper EDTA complex is not reducible. Reaction can be copper plus 2 ion combines with sodium EDTA, producing copper EDTA plus 2 sodium ions. And the fourth, rotating platinum microelectrodes are used as micro detectors in liquid chromatography to monitor elution of reducible substances.